Okay, so I got my new Infinity subwoofer from the car, so we're gonna open it up, look at it real quick. So, here's the, uh, just some specs in the manual. Hopefully you already know the specs before you purchase it, because it's probably one of the things you guys will look at. There's just more packaging and the foam that they give you there. Take the tape off this. So here it is. It actually looks very nice. Um, almost looks like brushed aluminum, but it's not. Um, pretty thick, nice uh, rubber surround that goes around. This is just foam padding for insulation to hold the sound tight. Well, the connectors are the standard type, the ones that you just slide over, but I'm, not, I'm a fan of the where you push the button down, slide the wire in, and then let go. Those work much better, but uh, that's what they give you here. Um, it actually seems like a very good sub. There was uh, five star reviews everywhere I looked, just about. Um, it's the dual voice voice coil um, infinity reference. Um, that's 1100 peak, but what you really want to know is that it's 275 continuous power. Um, yeah, so five star reviews on Amazon. You gotta love Amazon. I got it for only 60 bucks there. Um, I think it's gonna be good. All the reviews said it played awesome and they said it was well worth the money, which I'm guessing it is for only 60 bucks and with an infinity name. I'm hoping it's pretty good. Um, there was a few reviews, maybe out of the 50 I read total, maybe two or three that said the uh, cone comes separated from the rubber surround right in this, that little groove there. But I think that could be uh, it being played overpowered and then it tearing apart because someone overpowered it. But I think it might be good enough for me I just to say rock and roll and stuff. So that's the Infinity Reference Subwoofer, the 1062W is the model number. Get, so, um, I'll unbox my amp when I get it. It's going to be the Alpine um, MRP or MPR M500, I think. But that's all.